Hello fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2016. Love Focus. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here and happy new year to everybody out there. I can't say it enough. I love it. Fresh beginnings all around and you too should be feeling a sense of fresh beginnings all around in many ways. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that your life is going to look so dramatically different right away. You may have to wait just a little while longer. It is going to be next month when the new moon is in your sign that really big shifts start to take place. But in the context of love, this really is the month when some big things happen for you. And that is largely thanks to a full moon happening late in the month. This full moon is happening in your opposite sign and it is speaking in supreme harmony with your ancient ruling planet, Saturn. You add to this, in the middle of the month, Venus is speaking in supreme harmony with your modern ruling planet, Uranus. All of this suggests to me that emotions are coming up, some very intriguing possibilities may show up, whether within the established bond that you're in, the possibilities, the things that you could do together, the places you could go, the adventures that you could have. There is a reawakening happening in bonds that are established and at the same time there is a sense of possibility of what could be especially if you're open to meeting someone new and in fact when we have a full moon or a new moon in your opposite sign there pretty much always is someone there there's got to be someone there because the universe wants you to understand something about yourself and to see yourself as reflected in the eyes of another. So it's like another person acts as a mirror. And this is where the universe works overtime to try to bring that person your way so that you can see yourself differently, so that you can see yourself that much more clearly. So if you're open to meeting someone new, someone will show up. There is real potential there, long-term potential there. But it is going to be Mercury that's kind of like retrograde and then standing still around Pluto. So this to me does suggest that some fears might be stirred, some passions, um, and you may just end up seeing a part of yourself that surprises you. And you know, if I may say, a lot, some of this energy can be suspicious, can be a little obsessive as well, and that doesn't really fit the person that you desire to be, <laughs> the person that you most like being. And so you are gonna wanna watch that regardless of your relationship status, but having said that, there is this part of you that is very motivated to, motivated to move forward in life and in love and to move towards love that feels truly stable and secure. And especially around the later part of the month, it looks like you are making some smart decisions around love all around. Those of you who are connected to someone, it is possible because Venus is going to be meeting your ancient ruling planet, before speaking in harmony with your modern ruling planet, it does suggest to me like this moment that feels heavy or consequential, where it feels like, um, you know, it's either all in or that's it, that can lend itself to a feeling of freedom. Now, this might be just a, something that you've got to understand about each other to make this work, to make your relationship work. That is the most likely scenario. But for a small percentage of you, it might be that if you're in a situation that isn't working for you anymore, this is going to be that moment of honesty with yourself and with that other person. And so that freedom is going to be freedom from this particular connection. Now, I think the likelihood of you working within the connection you have is much more strong than um, going a new way but if that is the best way for you, that will become clear. As we move towards the full moon, for most of the month we have Venus moving through very harmonious placements, sort of like your home in the skies, your house in the sky. 
And this part of the sky um, is about what matters to you most in general, right? It's your hopes and your wishes. It's a very lofty, idealistic part of the sky. And that is part of the energy that you are bringing to love this month, especially if you're just getting to know someone. A part of the lesson, a part of the learning, and I do think also, especially getting to know somebody or meeting someone new, there's a strong social component to this. So whether they're into it or not, you're gonna have to drag them out of the house <laughs> and um, introduce them to some people, see how they act, see what happens. It is going to be in those moments that you are going to get more clear about what it is that you want in the context of love and life and also who this person is and what kind of person this is. So you need to see something about your own feelings for this person, but also you need to see something about the person themselves. So how they act around your friends tends to speak volumes of what kind of person this is, especially if you're just getting to know them. And if you think that this is something very casual, but then you find yourself, you know, feeling very possessive and jealous and desiring, well, that tells you something <laughs> about where it is that you believe this relationship is heading or what it is that this relationship is or this connection is inspiring within you. And if you're open to meeting someone new, one of the surest ways to do that and actually meet somebody with true potential to last a really long time is to either spend time with friends or have a friend hook you up have a friend set you up on a date. These are the best strategies for you to connect with someone, but really, as I said, full moon opposite sign, I have a feeling it just might fall into place. Like it could be a friend who lives in another city who tells you, my friend is gonna be in your city, and you meet them and you get that lesson that the universe is trying to get you to understand. What needs to happen for you to have a solid relationship? And if you're willing, to meet somebody new, that very strong candidate very well might just show up for you. What I love about this month for you is that love is on offer, even though in the early part of the month, the energy is very quiet. It shifts big time as we move towards the later part of the month. And it is in love where things are not so quiet. So as much as there might be a part of you that is focused on other areas of life, at the same time, you're able to carve out that time for love. You're able to understand the person you love that much more thanks to seeing them out and about in different social situations. And you're also able to make yourself that much more available to love. The kind of love that is social and engaging and the kind of love that allows you to feel that you're bringing all kinds of wonderful people into your life that expands your social circle, which should make that very social part of your sign particularly happy.